on the plus sign that precedes SSL certificates. Got it. And manage. I'm then there. You're click on manage. Exactly right. After that, then you're going to go ahead and click on the, uh, where it says, uh, there's like a little gear window, if you will. View status. Yeah. This It's a view status. Exactly right. Okay, I'm here. And then we're going to go ahead and click on manage again. And I'm here. Okay. And it's add, uh, it should be add subject alternate name. Got it. Okay. And so you could add the additional, uh, additional uh, domain names there. All right, let me see. Hold on. Okay, so unique, U N I Q U E, webcopy.com. And then Angie Johnston is the other one. All right, so I just save. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that I've done that, submit all save changes, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then do I have to do anything else or does it automatically set it up on my domain name for me? All right, thank you for holding for me. I apologize for the delay, sure. I talked to a guy over in the uh, in the SSL department. He said that um, as far as your services are with the SSL, all you need to do is actually just enter in the domain name, and it will go ahead and automatically go once it's approved onto the system there. So what we did already is what what that means, right? Yes, uh, yes. And they, the reason why it didn't show up on the original one that you added that was added is because it was going under review. They went ahead and pushed it. So the first one now has got the should have the SSL very shortly here. Oh, good deal. Okay, so now I don't have to do anything, and they're all set to go. Correct, yes. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. Okay. Take care now. Bye. Bye. Bye.